Dude, you totally grabbed me like five times. Horror movies are straight up date movies. When are you gonna ask this girl out you've been talking about? There's a time and a place, man. Bullshit, you think she'll turn you down. No way. Listen, I know you're a rookie when it comes to girls and it's okay to ask for help. I'm here for you. Such sensitivity, I'm sure the uh, freshmen eat that up. Come on, I'll be her, ask me out. All right. <clears throat> You're too tall, man. Eye level's all wrong. Besides, my words, they're for her ears only. Man, who the hell is this girl? She can't be anyone you already know because what would be the point of even asking her? So she's gotta be someone new. Holy shit, no way. Why not? Vivian McMillan. Yeah, man, what's the problem? Nothing if you like weird girls. Yeah, I can see how being smart and funny could be weird to you. Sophie's not smart. She's smart enough to drop your ass. Oh, and notice how you left out the word funny in your Sophie defense. I guess my girl wins this round. Vivian's not your girl. And Sophie's not yours. Wanna grab some pizza? Yep, cool. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure about that. You haven't really seen me in anything. That's true. You could totally bomb. But I doubt it. I'm sure you're great. Mm. Yeah, well, I have enough people telling me that I'm great. I need more people telling me that I got what it takes to make it. My parents are always on me. You work hard, you can make it, Archibald. But I'm not sure if they're cool with the whole comic book thing. My mom's always been supportive. Except I think she thinks I work too hard sometimes. Wow, can I come live with you? <laughs> she's not that supportive. <laughs> but she's mad happy to hear I was getting out of my room and going on a date. Oh, <laughs> I love your mom. Well, I think she's just worried about me missing out or whatever. But I don't think about that stuff. And that's what I like about you. You have plans way beyond what to do on the weekend. It's just hard sometimes, you know? Yeah. And my mom thinks I'm stressed too much. I can see that. You can? <laughs> Why, am I walking around the halls looking like a crazy person? No, you just, you want big things, and it's not always easy to deal. I get that. So, what do you do? You know, I draw mostly. Sometimes I just think about you. stood up and demanded to stop the movie. They were too beautiful for human eyes. We should not gaze upon them. Another moment. Her skin. His perfect and exquisite nose. I was thinking but. I was thinking you were thinking that. <laughs> okay, but doesn't their painful adorableness undermine the character flaws? Like the kind real people have. I'm totally turned on by a person's flaws. I know, right? What the fuck? Why is everyone so afraid to go deep? Uh, what's gonna happen? I mean, big shocker, humans aren't perfect. <laughs> oh my god, that is so not what I would do. You don't know that. You can't really say. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey. Let's ask them. What? Uh, uh, if you knew you were gonna be stranded on a desert island, what would you take with you? Can I bring a person? <laughs> oh. Don't you think after a while you might run out of things to say? Not a problem. That's what I mean. Right. So, <laughs> how is the movie? Wait, what would you take to your desert island? Books. Oh my god, right? Yes. And you. So how is the movie? Not as good as the book. But hotter. You wanna catch the 10 o'clock? Sure. Sounds good. Okay, well, see ya. So your little playmate has a girlfriend. Really? Because you know Sophie's straight. I'm thinking first date. They're both on the soccer team or something. It's, they probably just had practice. Are you kidding me? 
<laughs> that girl she's with? Stud. So then they must be getting it on. Why do you care? I'm just saying, why do you have to jump to that conclusion? Why can't they just be friends? Maybe she's experimenting. Gay until graduation? It's a thing. Well, it's a completely lame thing. They look pretty tight. If Sophie were going to, like, what? Nothing. I don't know, it's just weird. Wish it were you? No, really, spill it. Did you ever have feelings for Sophie? What, like you never had a thing for a straight chick before you met me? Like you'd do anything about it or like the feelings would come back just cause you saw her walking down the street all chummy with the cutest little dyke in the world. Wow. You really did like her. Can we just go somewhere and talk about this later? I have to know. I was 12. I wasn't sure how I was supposed to feel about a lot of things. And she was part of my confusion. Now she's part of mine.